I didn't think it was breast cancer at all because it was on the chest. It wasn't actually on the breast. It was just a little lump on the chest. So went to the doctors, as you do, to check out this lump because I already had a lump about 25 years ago under the arm and it was benign. So I didn't think I'd be getting any cancer. Um, and went through the momentums of having, coming back to hospital, being referred to the hospital and biopsies. And I suppose subconsciously deep down I knew, but to me, I didn't have breast cancer until um, the last check and you go into the room with a consultant and sat down and just the look on his face. I mean, he put his hand on mine and at that moment, I knew. And that's, that, that was the worst time for me. I've learned that a lot of stresses, etc. And you try to find reasons why you have it. Um, and my children's father um, was diagnosed with manic depressive about 20 odd years ago. And dealing with that is something I think was quite traumatic, just dealing with the ups and downs of that. And when my brother died a few years ago, um, I suppose you can call all those sorts of things trauma. Um, yeah, so I compare it to things like that. Things that just come out the blue and knock you for six and you're not prepared for it, you don't have any information about it, you don't know what to do. My experience here, especially with this hospital, I found it was tremendous, really. Um, and not that I didn't expect it, but you think hospital, yeah, but the team I had around me were, I think, really, really supportive. Um, any questions you wanted to know, and it wasn't just like you going for a treatment session afterwards, you'd have your nurse sit down with you and in a very genuine way. It wasn't like, because they had to do it or very personal to me um, and my family, because I would come with my daughters or my partner and everybody was accepted and explained to, and it was really, 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 really good. Then I've just, I've just recently found out it happens a lot younger than we'd think. So I think it's something that should be pushed in schools, in colleges, etc. just like, such as you would mention, sexual awareness, it should be pushed a lot more, not pushed, but, brought out into the open a lot more, you know, because as you say, there's definitely life after cancer. It's not that taboo subject, which, because my mum died of it when I was two, and I know back in those days, nobody talked about it. At least now we're talking about it. So that's a good thing.